the economy had been taking a toll on the movie box office, but this summer things really began to heat up. Now Hollywood's on track to pull in a record four and a half billion dollars for the period from May to Labor Day. And here now with a look at the summer's big hits and misses is Dalton Ross, assistant managing editor of Entertainment Weekly magazine, and he joins us right now. Dalton, good to see you here this morning. Thanks, Chris. Good to be been here. a pretty good summer. For, I yeah. mean, as for uh, sequels, obviously yeah. did very well. Some of the big ones we want to talk about, obviously Harry Potter, which went through the, I mean, just through them over the moon. Transformers, Hangover Two. So uh, is the big winner, I guess if we had to chart the big winner, would it be Harry Potter? It's definitely Harry Potter. You know, Warner Brothers decided to split that last book into two films, and now they are reaping the rewards. It was huge. It said every box office opening record got to a billion dollars worldwide in 19 days, also record. And most like importantly, the movie was good. You know, yeah. a franchise like this, you want to stick the landing on the yeah. last film, yeah. and I think they really did. Transformers, not so much, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the, the, I mean, R-rated comedies also did yeah. very well. It, why was it such a good season for Raunch? I mean, Bridesmaids, and again, The Hangover. Yep, they and really... horrible, horrible Bosses, too. I guess Lude, Rude, and Crude yeah. still sells. You know, we knew The Hangover would do well. You had Bridesmaids, which was basically Hangover for women. That did well in Horrible Bosses as well. So, you know, Hollywood's a copycat yeah. industry, so we're gonna, that just means we're going to see a lot more of it, Chris. And Hangover 2, you could probably not personify copycat more than that <laughs> between Hangover 1 and Hangover 2. Sure. Um, let's talk about... Uh, you know, I guess some of the A-list stars out there mm. that we really thought would carry movies. I mean, you go back to The Hangover there, Bradley right. Cooper, who's not considered A-list, I think, yeah. in, some, in some circles. Not like the A-list we're going to talk about. He carries that movie to $245 million. But you've got some of these A-list stars. You know, Cowboys and Aliens um, with Harrison Ford, Mr. Popper's Penguins with Jim Carrey, Larry Crown with Tom Hanks. These things underperformed significantly. And it's interesting, Chris. You look at that and you say those names. You say Harrison Ford. You say Tom Hanks. You look at Mel Mel Gibson, and you look at Jim Carrey, and you think these guys carry a movie, and they didn't carry these movies. And so that raises the question, do people not go see movies now because of the star attached? Does that matter less? Or are these stars just burning a little less bright? So I think it's very interesting to look at those. And, you know, frankly, none of these movies were all that great. So yeah. maybe maybe that it's just that. And, but they yeah. love, and they love special effects. Even though Cowboys <laughs> and Aliens did have uh, decent special effects, like you said, who knows exactly what people are looking for. Uh, another winner was comic book films. And does this, I guess, mean, because like you mentioned the whole copycat effect, are we going to see, I mean, how many more, uh, how superheroes many more, are there? <laughs> there <laughs> and that's what you thought this summer with Marvel. They, they bring Captain America out. They bring Thor out. You're like, yeah. Thor? Really? You're going to do <laughs> Thor? And they did it, and they did it well. It's amazing. And this is great for Marvel. They couldn't be more pleased because they've got their big Avengers film coming out next week, which is going to put a lot of these guys all together. Yeah. So this sets the table, the success of these films. Marvel has to be very excited. The X-Men film they did again was very good. So uh, Marvel's sitting pretty. Okay, we hate to pick on a single actor here, but we may as well because I think he probably deserves Deserves a little here. When it comes to losers, a guy who did not have a good summer at all, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, you know what? But Ryan Reynolds had a had, did have a good summer two years ago in yeah. 2009. So he had his totally good been summer, bad for him. But this and now he's got summer. his bad summer. I mean, look, you look and he had Green Lantern, a, 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 a superhero that yeah. didn't work. And then you have the change up. And you wonder, can Ryan Reynolds now not carry a film? He's the lead guy. Or were these films just not that good? I mean, Green Lantern, I mean, it was so cheesy. I think there was Velveeta dripping off, this, yeah. off the screen. And Change Up is a body switching movie. So yeah. enough said. <laughs> that's, <laughs> all, that's all you needed to hear with, the, right. with that review. Dalton, thanks so much. Good to see you. Have thanks, a good Chris. rest of the summer as we start talking about fall movie season coming up pretty soon. And we'll have you back for that. Thanks so much.